So this is the space we're going to back in today. Uh, there is no drone view, but there's a lot of other views. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite docks to back into because it is the most difficult dock. Uh, at uh, This is GP Front Avenue in Portland. Now, it can be easy, but when there's a, a trailer there, it's really hard. But when there's a trailer, when there's a truck parked in front of it, that's when it really gets difficult. Now, I... Uh, Anyway, so let's go ahead and show you it, and it's basically mostly going to be on a head cam. So let's uh, hope it's not uh, the worst footage in the world for you guys to understand. Again, what makes this dock really hard is because, well, there's the uh, this truck is parked right in front of the way. Let's go ahead and just stop it right around here. So we're going to have to watch out for, well, the, the entire truck, including his mirrors. And now I've seen a lot of drivers, when, when people are struggling to back in, they just drive off. And they just did come back once he's done. But uh, some people will look at this and go like, that's no problem whatsoever. Well, okay, well, it is a problem for a lot of people. And if you're having, and there's a reason why you're watching this video is because, well, you're having difficulty backing in. Now, this pole here has, uh, is, the, is the reason for so many doors being knocked off. Um, the, the hinges. And I'll show you halfway through this video kind of why, because you have to get you have to get pretty close to this pole, all right, in order for you for the dock plate to get in, all right. Anyway, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, set ourselves up, all right. Now we're backing in from the street, so obviously we're our goal is to uh, not slow traffic down, all right. So we're gonna wait for this guy to pass, and then I'm gonna wait for this guy all the way back here to pass, and then we're gonna set up really quickly. Okay, axles are all the way to the rear. I have the the door on the right side. Uh, that's open, but not the one on the left. And we will open that when we get when we when we back up because I don't want to. You'll see in a minute how close I actually get to this blue pole. Okay. Now, if the if this head cam footage is kind of annoying you, maybe to, maybe look down here as well. All right. And uh, I will switch mm. a bunch of camera views in a second once I actually uh, get myself well straight. Okay. So. You can just kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm cranking it all the way to the left right now because I will need to chase. And of course, every time you start chasing all the way, you want to take peaks to the right just to make sure that everything is good. Hey, I'm down here now. Let's stop for a second just so you can kind of get your bearings. I've moved some stuff around. Uh, again, steering wheel, head cam. These are my left mirrors. Now, it is a really sunny day. And the sunnier the day is, the, the, the harder. Everything looks a lot darker in the shadows uh, and then we c so you can't quite make that out and i tried doing as much color correction as i can so you can see what's going on but it's just not working so as you can see trailers open over here uh i'm missing the tra the truck that's great uh because if i just do a straight back right now i won't hit him till i get to halfway p to his trailer so that's good and of course now my main goal right now is, is missing this guy all right so still can't quite make it out I wish the camera was better actually you can see better in this one than you can here because this is a this is a proper GoPro this was just a cheap camera I think oh wait no it wasn't well this is a better GoPro than these ones whatever I'm okay look at all the cameras that I'm using right now I'm, th these are 360 cameras there's actually two cameras on, on both mirrors I've got cameras everywhere except up in the air anyway uh, so once I get now, I am still point, my trailer is still pointing towards this guy. That's fine. Now, if I want to move the front of my trailer to the right, I'm going to turn my steering wheel to the right. Of course, the back of the trailer will start pointing to the left. Okay, but I'm just going to keep backing up nice and slowly. Yeah, you can see this much better than over here. I, I must, there must be dirt or something on that camera. But I, I'm, I'm just missing it by like an inch and a half, maybe two inches. We'll see in a second. Uh, I definitely had a lot room, a lot more room over here to play with, but I like to get as close as possible to over here. That way, when this guy is done and the next guy who, who backs in, it'll be a much wider space for him. All right, let's crank it hard to the left because I want to straighten up in the shortest distance. I'm still, obviously, I'm still turning. Damn, I'm close. There we go. Okay, dead straight. I am happy. I'm not hitting it. And I've got a good amount of room over here. Uh, that way there's less chance of anybody damaging my trailer. Okay, so now we're going to have to open up that door. And I can kind of show you exactly uh, what it looks like next to uh, that blue pole. And how close I actually got. 
All right. Um, what are we going to say? An inch? Inch and a half? That's pretty close. Um, of course, this is why I back up with this door closed. And of course, now, once I actually do pull out of this space, uh, I'll pull forward and then close that door. And then if there's a trailer next to me, obviously, I can't actually uh, close the other door. All right, let's take a peek of what the other side looks like from back here. And uh, looking good. Got plenty of room. All right. I'm a good truck driver today, making it easy for everybody. All right, let's hop back into the cab. Now, there's nothing really special about the last part of this. It's just all I have to do is just keep maintaining the angle that I'm at, and I won't hit anything. And it'll just, it's just whatever, you know? Again, you always have to do some slight little turning, whatever. Now, this video isn't reversed. It's, uh, it kind of looks like I'm going to be blindsiding, but I'm not. It's actually these actual... This is basically the mirror. This is what you would look, like, look at if you were looking in a mirror, and here as well. Now, I'm showing a lot more of this side because, well, we're not going to be really looking at this side, okay? So, just in case you're wondering why it is kind of opposite, now, I, as you can see, I skipped everything, and uh, skipping all the waiting, because, yeah, you know, kind of dead air, really. Anywho, I just wanted to show you this part without any stopping. Sorry I'm talking, but that's kind of what I do now. And we're just going to keep backing up, and uh, the doors will magically open, because I've edited it that way. Cool. Do you need me to explain anything? You can you can see what I'm doing, yeah? You know, turn. steering wheel is turning. Now I'm doing a straight back. I'm constantly watching both mirrors. Make sure I'm not gonna making sure my trailer is not pointing towards the the, the blue area right here. Um, yeah, everything you you've already got in the description in the last part of the video. I'll be honest with you. I need to stretch this video out to eight minutes. <laughs> because otherwise, I you, you don't I don't get an, uh, you guys don't get an advertisement in the video, and this allows me to make it just a little bit more money. All right, so hey, most of you guys probably haven't even gotten this far. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're still there. We're still backing up, nice and slowly, <laughs> and I'm about to get out, and the doors. Yep, there you go, magically opened, thanks to the power of a video editing. Anyway, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to give it a like. And don't forget to share. Cool. Take care, guys. Bye.